Hi guys, it's David from the Geek Tutorial. I just wanted to let you know that uh, the conflict record virus is gaining strength. Um, you probably want to protect yourself. On April 1st, 2009, or Wednesday, it will uh, receive new instructions uh, and will probably start infecting even more machines. It's infected millions of computers, including uh, um, lots of computers at it infected the entire NBC network uh, computers um, that also infected uh, computers in the Royal Navy at uh, uh, in England and infected uh, computers everywhere it's in even infected my computer it if it can infect anybody it can infect you so uh, what I recommend doing is before before April 1st I know this is kind of short notice but before April 1st I recommend doing some uh, security measures uh, I'll show you exactly what you want to do um, uh, first of all you will want to download the patch in case you haven't done that for uh, for the uh, Microsoft for Microsoft Windows uh, to protect yourself uh, the place you'll want to go is uh, this website right here um, I will have the URL posted but you'll want to be looking for Microsoft Security Bulletin MS 08-067 it is a critical security update that uh, patches the Windows server service and uh, it has every operating system that you'll probably be running listed. The only one it does not have listed is Windows 7 Beta and uh, Windows Server OAR2 Beta. But uh, very few people are running that. I wish they had the Windows 7 Beta thing because I want the patch for that. But uh, anyway, so you just pick your operating system here, like uh, mine was right here, uh, Windows XP. SP2 or SP3. Uh, so once you click on that, it'll take you to this thing. You'll just click on the download button and uh, go ahead and take care of that update. Um, another thing you should probably want to do is you'll I uh, recommend setting up um, uh, Microsoft uh, Windows Update or Microsoft updates, preferably Microsoft updates, get all the updates you can um, for your computer that'll uh, help reduce the vulnerability of your computer and you also want to uh, make sure you have the latest version of the malicious software removal tool released by Windows or released by Microsoft um, and if you need to run that you can go ahead and go to start uh, run type in mrt.exe and then you should be able to run it just fine if you can't get to it for some reason um, from MRT, from your uh, from your account you need to uh, shut down your computer go to uh, shut down your computer when you turn it back on go to F, hit F8 log in through or start the, the computer in safe mode log in through the administrator account and then run uh, the malicious software removal tool from start run mrt.exe and uh, uh, one more thing you should do you should get a firewall I'm going to be using zone alarm and you should get a uh, an antivirus program McAfee uh, Norton I'm going to be using AVG because it's free um, and you can you can download either you can download uh, either one of those from download.com. So uh, that's what I'm going to be doing, and uh, I'm also going to be shutting down my server for the day on April 1st, just in case. Uh, I would protect all the computers in your house or on your network wherever you are. Um, there are patches for the uh, for the server programs Windows Server 08, Windows Server 03, um, and there are patches for uh, operating systems Windows 2000 Service Pack 4, XP, SP2 and SP3, Vista and Vista SP1, and everything else. So hop on the net, take, that, take care of that as soon as you can because you have one day left before the conflict of virus gains strength and you do not want to get this virus. I've had it. Everybody's had it. 
If you haven't had it, you don't want it. The only real reliable way to get rid of it is to reinstall Windows, and that's a big pain. So, take care of it. Keep you your and your computer healthy, and uh, have fun. One last thing. If you uh, hop on the Microsoft site, right over here, right on right in the center of the page it says learn more about Conficker. Uh, I would go ahead and go there you can just go to Microsoft.com and then type in or and then click on learn more about Conficker. it tells you basic information on how Conficker works uh, how it's distributed um, if you want more information you can go ahead and go to Wikipedia and uh, also search for Conficker. Conficker is spelled C-O-N F-I-C-K-E-R and you can even find out how where it got its name from on the Wikipedia site. Um, lots, of more, lots of information on there. Take care of it. See you later.